guys, Paul here, the Snipe with the Skills, and welcome to episode 5 of Farming with Paul. In the last episode, we got bronze medal, and in today's episode, we are building a slime fountain from all the way up there. Now, I did a little bit of off camera work, I got a lot of wood, and I used rope ladders and tunneled my way up that tree so we don't have to climb as high up. And before we start, I realized. Um, I watched Sunday's newest feed, newest Blood and Bones episode, and I am an idiot. Apparently, I could have upgraded my tools. So, and also I made a hang glider. So, I'm going to grab all these tools, and we are going to upgrade my pickaxes and tools. Now, <clears throat> sorry, um, this is close to boosting. But, I kind of want to use this, so depending on what this gets when it boosts, I might stick with this, or I might boost that. So I'm going to put the pickaxe and one of the sticks away, but we are going to take care of our other tools so I can show you what I meant. So I put that there, this here, and our iron hatchet with... 324 durability 421 effective durability with reinforced 3 put it in here it goes up and it gains a mining speed and it might level up um okay if I oh, okay it didn't level up but now it's it's still a custom, but it's bronze. And we can do that for the shovel as well. There we go. And then later on in the episode, depending on what this gets when it boosts, we're either going to boost this or we're going to boost the other one. But anyways, let me just show you what else I made. Found out you can make an infinite water source by taking by making a stone sink. So we have water. We should have enough building materials. And we can go start. Now, I have the coordinates for and oh yeah, I'll show you what I did. Um, I surrounded this entire area. I added on to the back. These animals keep escaping. Hopefully that will stop them. But if we go over here. I made this thing and surrounded it with sludge. Which will give wither. And I created a slime fountain. So the goal of today's episode is to take slime water from there. Create a channel all the way here. Now I have the coordinates on written down. It's x84 z negative 4. So what we need to do is we need to get. Oh, actually, I need to equip my broadsword because in case there are slimes up there. And as you can see, I made a tunnel. I didn't use ladders because rope ladder would have been. Is is it's just one item. So yeah, say I hope you guys are Okay, that was weird. Oh, you can't turn away from the ladder, I forgot. Um hope you guys are enjoying the week. Actually, the day I record that I'm recording this on Tuesday the 22nd, I just had my first day of classes and I am actually glad to be back in school. It After for I don't know. I, I really like the commuting thing to school. It I know that sounds really weird. Please don't tell me the sun's about to set. Okay, we have a little bit of time. And see, now we're on the top of the tree. Um, Let's do this. Tree top. Just in case. And we also have the hang glider, which in order to use, you have to right click. And now we need to nerd pull up. <clears throat> so. 
so let's see. This is good. Up, oh, need to eat. Actually, as I'm recording this, I just got the email saying my episode four got uploaded. Great, there's already a slime spawned. As long as it's not a boss, I should be fine. Yeah, at least that means we can finally use this short bow. Oh. Seems it goes... Oh, it seems the arrows fall down a little bit quicker. And the sun's about to set, which means I want to do this really quickly so I can just... Okay, the slime just fell. Slime Island. Let's go home and sleep. So now all we need to do is waypoint back up here. And where is eighty two? Eighty one, eighty two. So This is where we need to go straight out to there. So we need to connect that source of water. I'm just going up here so I don't get attacked by any surprise slimes because they can spawn in the water which is why we need the water to start getting slime balls. So the Z for over there is negative four. We are at one one six. So So that means we need to go Okay, now I need to go down. Okay, actually in the I need to connect this over there. So let's just. Right, how far can it flow before it drops down? Or before it stops flowing? I think that might be the spot. Yep. So. This spot we need to dig down one and then it resets and it can flow another eight blocks oh boy this is not gonna work out for me is it guys I may let it flow straight down I want to have it fall from the sky. Like, that'd be pretty cool. So... Let's go till we're directly above it. Let's just make that... Let's just make a little land bridge. Even though it has to go lower down, we can still set this up. Then we can water bucket. And then work from there. We need to go all the way to negative four. I just realized. 
I have enough dirt. Um, guys, I'm going to probably cut to when I get to the spot, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, now that we got here, time to do something I am probably not going. I'm going to regret doing, but we need to do this. And we need to go 15 blocks down. 16 blocks down. Wait. Yeah, 16 blocks down. So. Oh boy. I. I am worried that this is not going to work out. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a waypoint here. And. In case anything goes wrong so my plan is I'm going to use this wait a minute do I even need the water I do not think I do if I just place that there this rope ladder should allow me to go down out I just have to face towards it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen okay so now we head back up And then we're gonna should I I yeah I'm gonna break out the shovel now put this here so I can right click it and I have that ready and I'll put that back so I can TP up there in case anything goes wrong now Two more. Yep, two more. Actually, I'll leave that one. So now, I can start building the trough. Which is gonna be just like this. Uh-oh, hopefully that was not a bad idea. that there so let's see one two up oh, do not want to be up on that three four five Six, seven, why are they not connecting? This is kind of weird, but Alright, so now we go, that's one, this is eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how did that, no, that did not work.
Alright, so. Do we have enough? Hopefully we have enough. So, I have to count to eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you notice, yes, I made a backup catching system in case it's needed. I'm gonna set a waypoint and actually test out this hang glider because we need to go sleep soon. Cool. Um. How do I go faster now? I'm not right clicking, is it space? Is it? Okay, I don't kill him. Okay, that rope does not go all the way down. I find that out now. But I planned for this by doing that. Let's go home. Hurry, sleep before anything spawns. Something's probably a spawned up there. And that should be good. And because we actually made an overhang, if anything spawned, it is blocked from the sun. Hopefully that does not happen. So now we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Are these spaced by sevens? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's. I'm okay with that. Hopefully, this will reach. Guys, I just realized this isn't going to work. I'm going to pause the recording and figure this out and fix it, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So my math was off by a few numbers, but I figured it out. Um, Alright, so. We got to wait for it to... There, uh, there we go. Okay, now we're out. Okay, so I did it off camera because it was getting crazy. And is this one block tall? I cannot get the cloud. Oh, I did. Sweet. Can I get one more? Can I get that. 
apparently not. Oh, any, anyways, um, I was a few. My math was off by a little bit, and it's ready to go. So, um, three, two, one, and then let's go to the fountain top. Let's watch it flow over. Oh, you can see it on the mini map too. It's like an aquifer. That's what I was thinking of when I when we were building this. And then here it comes. And down it goes. Now is there water right here? Let's find out. Yep, we hit the water. And while we're waiting, we can... Cork up this water. Or not, because of the sunset. Please tell me my map. Tell don't tell me. There we go. The slime fountain's done. So, it's not gonna happen right away, but slowly, slimes will spawn in the water. And then hopefully they will hop into the, into the sludge, get wither and pass away, or I'll fight them, and we can get the stuff they drop. So yeah, we did it. We did it. Um, I just realized what that looks like. Why did I do that? Oh boy. But it's supposed to be a giant aquifer, or an aqueduct, like they used in the ancient times. To help transport water where it was needed. So yeah, we took care of what we wanted to do in this episode. Um, I already made the materials, we might as well boost it, or just rebuild it and see if it'll get what'll happen. Plus it gets haste. So we put that in, and its durability goes up. Its mining speed goes up to 11. And it needs its boost again, so... Now we have this. With mining speed 11 compared to that, which had mining speed 7. Oh, and I almost forgot, um... Off camera while I was exploring. Drop off this, that, 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 that. For now. Um... Look what I found. Chain leggings. So, if we toss it in here, and then we wait for the fully repaired leggings to smelt. Not sure if it doubles the ore or not. It should give the amount it's worth, though. Oh man, why is it taking forever? Might as well check the ore berries. There we go. Yeah guys, I feel really silly because I I knew I could boost, I could upgrade the tools as I went and I didn't have to build new tools, but I couldn't remember how to do it. I thought you just had to put the item one of the pieces on, but apparently had to put both of them on and an item has to be fully repaired. So I kind of feel silly for that, but... Up. Oh. Get ready for it. And now we have... Right now. We have two ingots of steel. So, what can we actually use steel for? 
Alright, it's Tinker's Construct Steel. So we can make... All these tools, including a... Steel pickaxe. Hmm. Mining speed of... Eight. Mining speed of seven. Hmm. Oh wait, mining speed of eleven. So I don't know if it would if it would dump add on to it or not. Steel short bows. Do we have enough for that? I think we do. We need. Okay, anyway, two point five hearts, two seconds. Two point five hearts, two seconds. It's just more durability. Uh, that's good for now. But, yeah. So, right now, I'm gonna hop over to the... Let's see, the sun just rose, so let's go over to the cool chasm. Where I grab some of that earlier let's just mine till we upgrade this may take a while let me why are there mobs on the surface oh yeah cuz I was stupid and stayed here too long um or no don't I, I, I'm overreacting, it's below me. Alright, anything else on this area? Let's see. okay, we need... Let's just mine everything up. Um... I think I found where the zombies were. I think. Let's see, okay, here's some more. Wait, does that mean I can mine this? Sweet, now I can mine the grab the iron. Because it had to be one above it. Uh, no, we cannot mine that yet. I'm pretty sure that more you level it, that longer it takes to mine. I mean, upgrade, level up. And this was where we had a little attack upon us with all that craziness. Copper. None more over here. Good thing there's not like iron, so there's no ore silverfish. That'd be. I mean, that's why they have the like living ore mod. Yeah, I would not enjoy that. Yeah guys, while we're mining, um, might as well tell you about how my day went. Um, woke up really early, I'll explain all that in a thing I'm thinking about working on soon that you guys will enjoy. A little bit of a spoiler hint on that, that's all you're getting though. Um, I woke up, ended up going to class, classes, and classes I'm taking this quarter are Unity, which is a game creating program. I'm also taking mod, which I'm actually using. I had to buy um, Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. 
and I'm actually creating, we're actually modding the game itself and we're creating our own games. Haven't had that class yet, but I did take, I did attend 3DS, 3D Modeling 2, where we use 3DS Max, and I also attended today, like I said, Unity. And my other class I'm taking is an online math course. Um, okay, guys, this cool chasm just got cooler. <laughs> Apparently it has, oh, we're about to level up. Apparently there is a mine shaft below it, so this chasm, this chasm just got a whole lot cooler. <laughs> All right, now, oh, wow, we just reached diamond level. Just get this. Sweet. Anything else? Nope, it just boosted to diamond, and it's, doesn't have any other boosts. Um, hmm. I just realized I wasn't using the right pickaxe, but sweet, we have that, so that means I can actually stick auto repair on that, but it didn't get any other abilities. This has haste, and that only has mining speed of seven, so... You know what guys, I'm gonna call it an episode here, and as soon as I stop the recording, I'm actually gonna begin recording the next episode, and it's gonna be mining, or we're gonna check out that, chasm, and we're gonna try and upgrade our tool, and we're gonna see what we get on this when it boosts. So yeah, thanks, I just realized I can mine that ore now. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed episode 5 of Farming with Paul. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, tell me down below what else you want me to do in this series. And my name is Paul Burns, TF2, the sniper with skills, I have to go because mobs are starting to spawn. And I will see you later my fellow mercs, bye. Actually guys, before I go, one last thing. Um, as you saw, this is our, our ore chest. We have 64 plus 44 iron ore, which is actually 108 times 2 from the smeltery. That's 216 iron ingots. Oh my gosh. Okay, now for real. Bye.